I don't even know what to say about this kitty. He's so cute. It's called catnip. And it's the perfect little kitty. It's uh, just so cute that it's almost too cute to drown. But I'm going to drown it anyway. So cute. It's scented in a lot of things. So I'm just going to put the scent list below the video so you can see. So let's go ahead and put him in the water. Can you tell I'm scared? I don't want to drown him. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, the fizzing begins. Trying to be so careful with her or him. Because I want to keep the face showing for as long as I can. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. It's just my desire to keep a grasp. It wasn't a very thick bomb. I'm trying to keep a grasp of it. I'm not fully catching the scent right now. There was some musk in it. There was a, it's just a good mixture of different scents. It's a really nice soft scent though. remember the long list. It was uh, four or five different just mixture of four or five different scents. Little kitty. The moment I saw this thing on her page, I was like, I know I gotta have that. I couldn't wait for her to put it out. I was just like, ah, that's what I gotta have. She is the potion cabinet soap, so her real thing is amazing, amazing potions in the form of soap and um, body wash, bubble bath, and I love those as well, but when I first um, started buying from her, the thing that I, things that I was buying were um, bath bombs. And I loved them. They were so super creative all the time and the sets were always on point. I hate to see him go. I'm trying to get him a little closer without dropping him in fully. So he is being overtaken. Oops. I you know how much I like to keep him on top of the water, but... I can only keep him up there for so long. The phone, though. Nice and thick. It's very witchy in color as usual on what I get from her. It's a very like um, 
her shop is not into the big bright, you know, pinks and purples and, you know, fuchsias and things of that nature. Because she's the potion cabinet soaps. It's potions and things of that nature. So you'll get the bright colors in the potions for sure. But it's not, the bath bombs aren't usually the big bright fluorescent um, happy bombs that I get with other companies. I'll take a moment to show you some of her bubbles, bubble baths that I have that are pretty and bright in color. In a few moments after the kitty browns. See if I let it go if it actually stays up. I'm just I've just been afraid to let it go. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, that was a quick. I tried to let it go soft, but it just went under quicker than anything was on the back of it. It's pretty uh like there's melt on it or something. There's some bath melt on the back. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> That's not how I feel about that bath melt. But look at how, how, um, how frothy that is. I think I just hold it up so that not too much bath milk gets in there. This right here is super soft, so if you guys love bath melt, it's gonna be all up in your tub. I don't know what color the bath water is going to be. It's probably going to be like a brownish color, maybe greenish color. So it looks like the bath melt was all inside of the bath bomb. If I take a closer look, um, there's a piece, and right here you see all that sh looks like glossy stuff right there. If I slide my hand across it, it's very soft, um, so it's not like bath bomb material. I always call it material, you guys probably laugh every time I say that. So I'm going to take this out because there appears to be a lot of bath melt in there. But I do see a lot of shimmer on top of this. So we'll see what happens. Hold on one moment while I toss that out. All right, let's take a look. And let's see what ended up happening to the water. It looks like a silver color. With sparkle. I'm trying to mix it all up. Yeah, there was a lot of bath milk because I actually have it at the bottom of my tub now. So she incorporated a lot of bath melt in there. So for those of you that uh, love a lot of bath melt, there is a good amount of bath melt mixed in here. Um, if I look closely in here, you'll be able to see a lot of sparkle in here. It's like a silvery, silvery bath um, color. I don't know how it's coming across, but it is silvery on my end. Like almost like a purple silver. Um, it's a very, very soft set. Alright guys, so that's it for the potion cabinet. I'm sorry, Kitty. I had to drown you. This freaking shimmer is so pretty against that purple silver ruby is on this end. So just tell if you can see it. Sometimes when there's lot, um, extra bath melt in the water or a lot of bath melt, you can't really see it all that well on the camera, but it's a very pretty 
potion in there. Alright guys, that's it for the potion cabinet. Oh no, I said I was going to show you guys some of her. Oh, that's in the beautiful colors. So here's the bright and lovely F's to give, which I've shown in my unboxings. And then we have the awesome bright acid bath. And I always get the bubble baths. If I get shower gels, it's usually for my daughter because I'm a bath taker. And then we have the crystal ball polisher. Look at that. And let's see, I have so much of her stuff right now. Liquid look. So, um, now I usually buy it as I need it but this is my all-time favorite it's actually a lot shimmerier than it looks this uh, shimmer has stuck to the bottom and I haven't really used it yet as you can see but once I open it up and allow some of the stuff to fall in and move around you'll be able to see how shimmery it is um, anyway that's it for potion cabinet folks